Perfect. Okay, and we're recording, so that's awesome. Now, I don't know that you'll find this video to be very shareable because I, I want to open it up. I don't, I'm, I don't plan on it being a training. I mean, I want to open it right. up from you all. But um, Ashley told me that she felt like what would be the most beneficial would be some pointers about building the business and finding other business builders. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what you said to me. Yes. And so um, I know that um, she's done other trainings about that. And, um, but I'll, I'll go ahead. I thought I'll go ahead and tell you some of my story and how it relates to this. <clears throat> so there are people out there who join Plexus for the business. There are, there are people. I, in fact, I was listening to a call tonight. Christy White is a diamond and she joined for the business and she did not buy product until she got her first paycheck. Um, I don't, if any of you doesn't know Christy White's story, go watch her diamond dog. It's Christy with a K-R-I-S-T-I. She, they, their family lost to their business that, that they had been doing and she joined Texas and the thirty four ninety five brought her bank account down to 17 cents. I mean, she really did not have any money. And so I always feel like her story is really powerful when you encounter those people who say cost is an objection when it comes to working the business. Um, anyway, there are people out there like Christy who join for the business. And then I would say there's the majority of people who join for the products and stumble into the business. Ashley, were you one of those people? Yeah, I would say out of most people that I talked to, I had a little bit more of the business sense in it. Um, just seeing other network marketers in the area grow and thinking, well, nobody's ever heard of this company in this area. Yeah. And so there was a little bit that intrigued me. However, I have a full-time job that was definitely not my initial why. Yeah. Um, I was intrigued by it, and I think that's what helped me get started going, but it wasn't my end-all, be-all. Well, and what you just said ties in perfectly with what I was going to say, too. That's similar to me. I, I really joined because I wanted to be on the products, but my sponsor had done such an amazing job communicating what an opportunity the business was, and I'm guessing that's kind of where you stood, too, with your life. Um, had she not communicated over time how amazing the business opportunity was, you never would have had that thought of, wow, you know, no one in my area is doing this. And I've seen other network marketers do really well, or I've seen Lorelai do well. Um, and so, so much of it is, so much of it does lie with the sponsor casting that vision. Anyway, so my story was I, I already really believed in um, – not these products, but what these products were doing. I already really believed in gut health and its connection with a lot of diseases and just felt very strongly about the power of diet and about like alkalizing the body instead of it being acidic, which is a lot of what our X Factor and BioCleanse do. Like I'd, I'd, I'd read about a lot of that for years and um, wanted to be on these products when I heard of the products. Um, but what was so interesting was Jessica Hefley, who's not my sponsor, but she's right above my sponsor. She had posted about Plexus on Facebook for about eight months before I finally broke down and joined. And she had posted basically 50-50 about both the products and the business. She had posted about how amazing the products were, but she had also done done an amazing job posting about, you name it, I mean, how fun it is to work from home how great it is that the company has a 60 day money back guarantee and when people use it, it doesn't, they don't take it out of the commission. Um, how nice it was to be able to get a manicure after they had been budgeting so tight for years because they were really in a lot of debt and struggling financially. So, you know, she did a post one day about like, I'm sitting at home in my robe and just, um, and I'm working my business on my phone and it's so fun to look at my pretty nails because I never got manicures and now I got, I got to get a manicure. So she would, she would do that all the time. Really to me, it was like 50, 50. So by the time I decided I wanted to be on the products and I, she, and she had done a great job talking about how it's only 34 95 to join ambassador is the very cheapest price. She had done posts, I remember, about how many, she said, I, ev let's everyone guess how many times I've made my $34.95 back. I'm, I'm six months in the business. Everyone guess how, how many times I've made the $34.95 back. Anyway, she had really 
um, consistently shared about the business. So when I was ready to use the products, I knew I'm going to join as an ambassador because it's the best deal because she had shared that. And then day one, when I joined as an ambassador, what's the first thing I did? I posted it on Facebook that I was starting the products. Why? Because I had just seen that that's what you do. <laughs> you know, I had seen a friend join the company and just fly up the ranks and I'd seen that that's what she did. And so to me, it was a no brainer, even though I wasn't interested in the business, I was just like, Meh, I'm going to share that I'm on the products and posted about it. And what do you know, in two weeks of two, two years ago in November, I had several customers and I had a decent paycheck at the end of November and that began to snowball. The second month I thought to myself, well, what if I actually try? I mean, this first month I was sharing and putting the word out and just kind of, you know, seeing where it went. What if I actually try? What if I actually recruit? And what if I actually set some goals? Um, and that snowballed and, and as a very driven person, you know, I quickly was like, man, this is going great. I could, you know, I saw the immediate reward and I saw where it could go and I just ran with it. I think it's such a critical thing about that though is she did so much behind the scenes because when I came, when it came time for me to join, I was, I was behaving like a business builder, even though I wasn't interested in the business. Um, so that's one thing I wanted to mention on our call is that if you're, <laughs> excuse me, is that if you're only posting and reaching out about our amazing products, there's really not, there's no chance to attract those business builders or those people who would be amazing business builders, but uh, when, you know, when they get involved for the products, there's no possible way to <clears throat> attract those unless you're putting the word out about the business. And, and I just want to stress that it doesn't have to just be about the paychecks or the money. It can be about the community on our team, like how encouraging it is to be a part of this team and to be surrounded by such people that are just committed to growing and, you know, facing their fears and building each other up. Like that's a huge benefit of this business in my life. So posting about that or, or reaching out about that, or um, I think it's really powerful. Like when you're reading a professional development book and you share a quote from that book online, people um, you're adding value to their life and they see that you're adding value to yourself and you're becoming like a stronger, better person because of your business. So like that's a powerful thing to share. It doesn't always have to be, I'm making so much money. Look what I'm, look at the money I'm making. Look what I bought with it. It doesn't have to be. Um, I also really like it when people highlight like Plexus pays us 11 different ways or Plexus pays us five times a month. Those things I think really like grab people's attention sometimes when, when it's Christmas season and they're waiting for that mid month paycheck or that end of the month paycheck. Hearing someone say, I get paid every Friday um, is, you know, it really grabs people. <clears throat> so I wanted to highlight that. Did you, did you have anything you wanted to say, Ashley? Or ask? I think that that is definitely, I'll say that's where I struggle. Um, I do not post enough about the business. Um, I think we're all a little scared. It's that negative self-talk of what will people think and, you know, I don't want them, I, especially for those of us that have full-time jobs or aren't necessarily struggling or don't even want people to know that we're struggling, you know, different things like that. Um, but we've got to stop that. We've got to start looking at the, there are people out there that need this business. And if we could help somebody have a diamond documentary one day, how good would that feel? Um, and so I think that's our biggest, especially for me, that has got to be my mindset change of, I do have a full-time job. I do enjoy my full-time job, but I could help somebody else or what could I do with the income that Plexus could, could produce by hitting Emerald and you know, how could I better the world and yeah. other people get to that. So I think, um, I think that's definitely a huge key for us as a team is we have to start posting about the business. I think a lot of us, post about the products in hopes that we'll eventually turn somebody into a business builder. But I think it's a lot harder to do if they never know the business potential. Yeah. So yeah, it's a lot harder. Um, if you've been building the belief into them about the business the whole time, then the transition almost feels effortless. Yeah. Business. That's the biggest thing I just got out of that of like, I 
it just clicked. Like <laughs> it's no different than the products. Once they're finally ready to take a probiotic, if you've been talking about a probiotic for six months, they're going to come to you. Right. Well, if you've been talking about the business for six months and all of a sudden they realize they're ready to join a network marketing company, you're going to be the one that they come to because you've made it seem so easy. You've made it a no brainer for them. And that's yeah. what Jessica did for me. She made it a no brainer. Mm -hmm. And it was still scary. I mean, the first month I was like, I'm just going to, you know, dip my toe in. It was still, I still had fears to overcome, but we, we can make the, we can make it a no brainer by our, um, by our self-talk and by our self-talk about our team. I'll talk about that a little bit too, because you reminded me of it. Um, so like I added several, um, not several, but I added some ambassadors last month when we did Cyber Tuesday. <laughs> And one of them, um, one of them is a is turning into a turning out to be a strong business builder, and she is someone who orig originally, I mean, I've known her for years, and I've always felt like she needed to do this, and I've kind of been dripping on her for a long time. Well, a couple months ago, she reached out to me and said, "I kind of want to try Slim and Block," and I said, "Well, hey, I love Slim and Block. I would actually recommend you start with the Triplex before you introduce the Block, but let's talk more about it." So we talked for several weeks. And I remember reaching out when we had that free shipping thing in November. And after a while, she kind of stopped answering. And I was like, oh, man, I guess she's just going to ignore me for a while. And um, I followed up pretty diligently. And she kind of kept, kept reading them and kept ignoring me for a while. And then when Lorelai did the Cyber Monday event, I uh, added her to the event. And I, I think I, I added, I invited her and I think I messaged her and said, Hey, I know you've been wanting to try the products. I would love for you to get a better deal. So I added you to my cyber Monday sale. I didn't say it like I added you to an informational event. Cause people are like, what information? Like so, some people love it, but some people are like, I don't want to read an event. So I just said, I added you to my cyber Monday sale. I knew you wanted the products. I want you to get a deal. Well, she fell into the plexus rabbit hole at that event. Like she was reading all the information and now she's on her team and now she's building the business, which is amazing. That was a total tangent though. So I added, um, maybe, maybe three, I think I added three people and, um, not all of them have expressed an interest in business, but when I wrote a thank you card to them, thank you for joining my team. I'm so excited for you to get your welcome back. Be sure and let me know when it arrives. I, you know, I want to, I want to keep up with you on how it's going. Can't wait to celebrate you going silver. That's how I end my thank you notes to people. I'm just building that belief in them that this business is a no brainer. If you love your products, why keep a good thing from the people that you love? And that's one of my affirmations every day. So those of you who are brand new on the team may not under may have never heard us talk about affirmations before. But if you're if you've been on the team a while, we talk a lot about saying these affirmations to ourselves every day because our our default self talk is Oh, I just can't seem to get on the ball today, or oh, I just can't seem to get organized, or these kids are driving me crazy. I just cannot wait for them to go to bed. Um, I can't, I never have enough time to do what I need. All, that's our normal default self talk. And that, that ends up creating an outcome that's unproductive. Because if you believe, oh, I'm never going to, never going to get my to do list done, you're not even going to try. But if every day you are reprogramming that self talk and saying, man, I just seem to have such a good handle on my schedule. I mean, I, I see, you know, I get, I get one thing accomplished and I move on to the next thing or kid, kid has a meltdown. I take a deep breath and I stay calm. And if you are telling yourself these things, then your brain is like, okay, I'm going to do it. Um, I won't go too far into detail, but if you haven't read what, is it, what to say when you talk to yourself, um, if you haven't read that, those, those concepts are from that book. And so it's the idea of speaking affirmations daily so that what you want to happen in your life is what you end up, is what ends up happening because you end up doing those things versus telling yourself things that end up just holding you back. So here's how that applies to my team. If I had an ambassador and every day I'm saying to myself, no one in their right mind would want to keep this good thing a secret. No one in their right mind would want to withhold a blessing from the people that they love. These are affirmations I say to myself every day. 
um, you know, or I'll, or I might say like, man, people join my team and they cannot help but jump into the business. It's that contagious. Our team's attitude and our team's enthusiasm for life is that contagious and people just can't help it. They're sucked in. So these are affirmations that I say to myself every day. And when I say, when I say them every day and I believe them, it changes the way I treat my team. It changes the way I treat my new recruit because in my mind, no, I'm not being pushy. I'm not telling them like, come on, go, go find the new, you know, go find three people. But I, but I, but because I believe that well, who wouldn't want extra money, who wouldn't want to be healthy and feel better. Um, it's like, it's kind of like, I know they want this, even though they don't know they want it yet. <laughs> and so that just changes my, Jane changes my approach to them. It changes how I talk to them and how I treat them. And, um, a lot of people have told me before, like, well, I'm, I don't know if I should add them to the team page. I don't know if they want to be on there or I don't know if they'd want to come to super Saturday. You know, if you believe, like, well, who wouldn't want a little extra money? Who wouldn't want to help everybody in their life feel better? Um, then you're going to be like, oh, you've got to come to Super Saturday. You'd love it. Or, oh, you've got to get on our team page. Like, I can't wait to welcome you to our team page. I can't wait for you to meet everybody on our team page. That's such an encouraging group of people. So do you see how the self-talk just totally changes how you um, relate with your people that you're bringing on board. Yeah. Yeah. Um, any thoughts on that? Um, I absolutely love that book. Um, I talk about it every day, not just about my Plexus business, but in my personal life, it has totally changed the way I parent my children. Um, change the way that I, well, trying to change the way that I talk to my husband. Um, and I swear by it. it. People need to read this book. Um, that negative self-talk just eats away at us. It creates things in our life that we don't want to be there. Um, but yes, there you go. What to say when you, I got it for like $5 on Amazon the other day. <laughs> Bad homesteader, baby. <laughs> it's a great book. Um, and we're our own worst enemies. I actually have a new person I was hoping was going to be on tonight, but she said it. I mean, she just joined a week ago and she's like, it's, it's myself. I'm fighting myself. I know that I need this business and I just have got to get on, you know, get on the horse and get going. Mm -hmm. And I think that is our biggest enemy is ourselves and what we say to ourselves every day. Um, and especially when it comes to growing a business, it's easy to think that you can't do this. It's very easy to think that you can't do this because not everybody does this, but we're all capable of doing this. We all have the ability to do it. Um, everybody on this team has a different gift and talent. It's, it's finding what works best for you and making it genuine um, for you and your business. And what's so great about the concept here is that it, you're not required to overhaul your belief system and overhaul your behaviors. All you have to do is wake up in the morning and say different things to yourself. And if you do it for a couple of months, it bleeds into your belief system and that bleeds into your behaviors and that changes outcomes in your life. And so when, and it helps me with teammates because when they're like, man, I'm just scared to death to do X or I'm really bad at, they'll say, I'm really bad at talking to people or whatever they say. I don't have to be like, don't believe that. Don't think that. All I have to do is, is give, I feed them some affirmations. Like if they tell me maybe their top three or four things that are holding them back, I'll like record them some affirmations and I'll be like, listen to this every day. Don't worry about trying to change how you feel and don't worry about trying to change how you act. I just want you to promise me that you will say these things or read them or, or listen to them every day. And, um, and like that, that programming changes the beliefs in the outcome. But yeah, I think like kids are a prime example of that. You can tell your child that either they can do something or they can't and they believe you instantly up until a certain age when they've had more experiences. But if we do that same thing to our adult brain, we can control that same way. It takes us a little bit longer than it does a three to five year old, but we can control that. 
No. I'm like every time I hear my kids say I can't, I tell her, you can say I'm learning how to do that, but I need help. Yes. That's because awesome. There's this different mindset when you say like, I, I'm not, I, I'm not able to do that yet instead of I can't do it. I can't do that means I might as well give up. But I'm not able to do that yet or I need a little help or I'm learning how to do that. It's totally, totally good. Um, so I, I feel like my first year in the business was a, it was a journey in transforming my self-talk about myself and changing and saying like, my motives in this are honorable. I seek to bless people and they know that. They don't question my motives. I'm not afraid to um, share plexus with others. I enjoy meeting new people and letting them see the passion in my voice. Okay, so the first year I felt like was all about like transforming my own self, talk about myself. And I feel like the second year in my business has been transforming my self talk about my team. Because it's very easy to look at your team and be like, they don't care about this business. They don't read anything I post on the team page. You know, I send them a message and invite them to Super Saturday and they ignore it. It's really easy for your self-talk about your team to become very unproductive and for it to defeat you. And it's the exact same, it's the exact same thing as the self-talk that defeats you when it comes to your own self. And so when I created these affirmations where I was saying like, I, one, another one I created was, my teammates are amazing leaders and they get frustrated when I pass them up for an opportunity to lead. That's one of them. Or I've said, um, like I've said, nobody would want to keep good health and financial freedom for the people that they love. They may not know they need this, but I know they need this and I can't wait for them to realize it too. And, um, you know, I, they're going to love like the atmosphere on our team page. They're, they're going to be sucked in without even meaning to me, all those things. So self-talk, I want you guys to think about the self-talk you're using about your team <laughs> and the people that you bring on board with you. Um, does anyone have a question about this whole topic? Not just the self-talk, but just in general. I think um, just, you know, at the base, at the basic level, logistics wise, it's the creativity and the bravery to start posting uh, as much about the business as you do about the products. And then also reaching out to people about the business. Um, and a lot of people will, a lot of people will not respond with a yes when you say, you know, if you reach out to someone and you say, hey, I think you could be a powerhouse in this business. I just can, you have such influence. You have, so, you know, you're an amazing person. And I feel like you would rock as a Plexus ambassador. Um, they're probably going to come back and be like, no, thanks. I've got a full-time job or whatever. And they're going to, that's okay. They're going to say that. But, the, but because you've planted that seed, when they come around to wanting to try the products, they have that belief in the business or they have that curiosity about the business. So be reaching out about the business, um, be posting about the business. And if you need, if you need tips for how to do that in a creative way, I, I have created a whole album, like a photo album on the Plexus Paladins page. It's called Business Posts Inspiration. So it's inspiration for how to do posts about the business. And I basically have just taken screenshots every time I like a post that someone does about the business. Some of them are, some of them are going to be like overwhelmingly like just about the financial blessing, but some of them you'll see are about lots of the other blessings in the business too. And I'm not suggesting you like the screenshot, but I'm just saying, let that kind of feed you ideas for how you can do your own posts about the business. Um, and then, and then the second big thing we talked about, which is just um, really shifting your self-talk and shifting your self-talk about your team. And um, let that belief building happen so naturally that um, when people jump on board, in many cases, it will be a no-brainer. Now, you're still going to have people that jump on board and just want to be wholesalers. And I don't say any of this to defeat anybody because, like, I've, I've got someone who I've, I feel like I've followed up with her every, like, four to six months and been like, yeah, I still really think you'd be awesome at the business. And she's on our team as a wholesale ambassador. And she's like, no, I'm not interested. 
Um, so that's another thing too is Tamara recommended to me that you just check in every six months or so and say, hey, I know you said you weren't interested in the business, but sometimes timing changes things. And I just wanted to check in and, and see what you think about it now. And as long as you're approaching them as a friend who loves them and they know that you look, that the friendship is first, and you can say, that, say, look, our friendship is first, and I always want you to know that. But, you know, sometimes the timing changes things. And I just wanted to know if you thought about any differently about the business since we chatted about it last time. And, of course, be keeping up with them about life in between don't like just only talk to them every six months about them. so now so now but um anyway that was advice from Tamara and you know there have been people who two or three years into her journey have been like you know I think I am ready so um I forgot where I was going with that <laughs> but just so just yeah so just the belief the breathing belief into people about it being different and being a blessing um that that sort of makes it a no-brainer for people so that is what I had prepared. But I, we have about seven minutes, so I'm really happy if anyone has a question. I have a question. Um, when it comes to, and I'm trying not to have my own negative self-talk here about business builders. However, did you find that there were different techniques you used earlier in your journey versus late? Like, I feel like now that you hit Emerald, it's a little bit easier for people to say, oh, yeah, she really did do this. It really is, you know, someone, Carissa, I know Carissa, and she made it all the way to Emerald. Now I'm ready to join because I know how easy it is versus, you know, someone that's only silver. Yeah, did you use any different techniques early on versus later? I find that the majority of people don't have a vision to ever hit Emerald. I find that the majority of people who need the business need $500 a month maybe a thousand dollars a month they need groceries or a car payment or a house payment and so me being emerald is great but a lot of people that i approach say i could never do what you did. like never do what you did um they have their own you know roadblocks so i feel like no matter where you are if you're making any money then you have something really big to offer people. And most people, and, and hopefully we can change this and give them a much bigger vision once they love the products and once they're on our team. And maybe they, then, then we can help them see, no, Emerald is possible. Diamond is possible. But I feel like in, initially um, they think, hey, if I could make $1,000 a month, that would be unheard of. That's yeah. what, when Jessica Heffley joined, so Jessica saw Tamara get her Lexus and she was like, okay, I thought this was all just a load of hooey, but you're actually driving the car. So maybe you are making money. So she called Tamara up and said, how much money are you really making? And she thought if Tamara said $3,000, then she would just be like amazed, amazed. And Tamara said $10,000 a month because that's the average Emerald paycheck. And Jessica could not believe it. So I think that um, most people probably think, I mean, I know I did. Before Plexus, I thought if I made like two or three hundred dollars a month with my blog, that would have been like an amazing month. So, yeah, I think that's a really good point. And something that I feel like we get lost in is trying to find people that are looking to be emeralds, but that probably comes over time. Mm -hmm. It's hard for me as such a strong red, like when I see something I want, I think everybody sees the top, but you're right. So many people just need two to $300 a month. Yeah. Like if you can find people who want to be gold, then by uh -huh. the time they get to gold, they will want to be emerald. Right. They've seen how to get there. That makes sense and makes it a lot less scary to me, a lot easier to approach people like, hey, do you want to make $10,000? Because that's overwhelming to people. Yeah, a lot of people are scared of that kind of money. I think, and yeah. a lot of people think it's like, a lot of people have been told that it's like wrong. Right. I mean, it's amazing the things that hold people, some people back. It's mm -hmm. amazing. Um, and it all goes back to that self-talk. But yeah, I feel like it's been its own obstacle for me. Like me being Sapphire, the people that I've reached out to about the business, I feel like they look at me and are like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm, that kind of money is like never going to, you know, and they, it's, it's almost more of an obstacle. So it just really just kind Depends, of. Yeah. 
Um, I did want to, so when you, um, I guess I'll have the recording since I'm recording. I'll post this recording. Um, where do you want me to post it? Do you want me to message it to you? Yeah, why don't you do that and then I'll talk to everybody that's on here and see if they want to share it with anybody or yeah. anything like that. That would be great. Because I had a, what, I, what I'm asking is I had a little follow-up video. Um, I love Whitney War. Whitney War is the Sapphire ambassador who joined purely for the business. And she did so much research before deciding Plexus was the best opportunity out there, bar none. I mean, the best opportunity out there. She's actually made a video where she shares every reason that she just, why she decided that Plexus was the best opportunity out there. And I love it. So for those people that, that you are really seeing and pursuing for the business, I feel like that's the, that's a great video. Not to say you have to send them the video, but if you have seen the video several times and you know the points by heart, then it's going to empower your conversations with people. So wherever we end up sharing the recording, I want to share that follow-up video and encourage everybody to watch it. Great. Awesome. Okay. Well, we're down to two minutes, so I can go ahead and stop the recording and <laughs> um, I'll just send it to you, Ashley. Sounds great. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for jumping on, you guys. Everyone have a good rest of your week. Thank you. Thank thanks you. for the opportunity, Carissa. You're welcome. Thanks. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.